What's going on guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be riding to a place called the Electric Bray. This is a road in Scotland where the cars actually appear to roll uphill, almost like they're defying gravity or something. I have no idea how this works, but it sounds interesting. So let's just go ahead and dive in and check out the Electric Bray. There's a quarter mile stretch of road here in South Ayrshire, Scotland. South Ayrshire. Where you'll see something that seems to defy logic. I'm Bridget Barbara reporting for Atlas Obscura, and today we're going to break the law of gravity. Electric Bray, slow vehicles ahead. This is the electric Bray. Bray is a Scottish word that means slope or steep bank or Oh, uh, okay, so and like electric slope see, this makes road sense. has a slope. Wow. Dude, that landscape looks so beautiful. You know, I love the just rolling green hills, the sea in the background, just this winding country road going through the middle. This is the type of road I would absolutely love to take a road trip on. Um, so obviously this whole road isn't the electric bray. What, what is the actual highway name or uh, the actual road that leads to the electric bray? In other words, what road is this? Because obviously I can tell this is cutting through some really beautiful countryside and this is a definitely the type of road, if you're visiting the UK and you want to kind of experience the countryside and the beauty of the area, this is probably, this looks like a really nice road to take for that purpose. The strange thing is that on this slope, things appear to roll uphill. How, how does the that Allegedly, even work? if you put your car in neutral, it'll slowly roll that way, which as you can see would very much defy physics. We are going to put this to the test. This is an active road, so we're going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh, here I go, okay. What? <laughs> ah! What? This is so weird. How was... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah. She's literally going uphill. I'm not doing anything. I'm just steering it, a little bit, but I am going uphill. Here. Okay, hold on. I got to look at this. Hold on real quick. Yeah, I mean is my are my eyes playing tr tricks on me? I mean, she's saying she's going uphill. I I can't see how this is going downhill. How does a car roll uphill? Okay, I, I am so confused. I mean, I can see, uh, you know, why they made a video about this because this is just interesting. How, how does this work? I feel like I'm being abducted by aliens. That, that, that is very weird. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, look at that, hold on. To the naked eye, you can see that. This looks like magic. And in fact, this phenomenon has been attributed to everything from magnets, to witches, to electricity. Growing up here, it was one of the sort of legends that you had, that the, the electric bray, it was um, an electrical phenomenon that uh, no one could explain. We only got electricity in the town when, in my grandmother's days, so right. everybody believed it was something to do with the new phenomenon of electricity yeah, that was causing it, yeah. That's interesting. And actually, the electric in electric Bray so, is a whole... Hold on. So is this the road? I guess so, so this is what they're showing. So this has got to be the section they're talking about. Because I know it's not like the whole road. It's this, it's this section here, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, if this is the section, um, it, it definitely, it's definitely going uphill. I mean, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's so weird, man. Holdover from a time when people thought that this phenomenon was caused by an electric pull in the area. However, the true reason is much simpler. It's really just an optical illusion. One end of the road is 286 feet above ordnance datum, and the other is 303 feet. What's throwing us off is the landscape. The landscape is formed in a way that makes it look like the slope no. is going in the opposite direction, and that creates the optical illusion. And the same goes for every gravity hill around the world. No. Wait, there's other 
versions of this? Coming up here, my mum and dad, we used to come here and it was just amazed us every time we came here. And it was only as an adult that I actually found out what caused it. The science behind this is pretty well researched at this point. And the secret behind the magic is written right here on this stone to let tourists know what's up. So why are we still so fascinated by it? That's just weird, man. I, I, Despite I, knowing the true reason behind the phenomenon, people still flock to the spot to see it in action. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I think it says something about our curiosity as humans. Yeah, I, I, I definitely have a bit of curiosity. But we also just can't resist a good oddity. Okay. Well, <laughs> going down that way. The wind keeps taking the ball. And also this is a... Ah! What you gonna do, little guy? Ready? <sighs> Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more awesome videos like this one and top into the comments to let us know what a I don't know. Um <laughs> just it see like I, with my own eyes, I, I get that there is an explanation, but it's just, I mean, look at that, dude. It's just like, that's so odd. I, I just cannot picture it. <laughs> that's so weird. I don't know where, I want to go back to where it was like, where you could see the hill. Let's see. Uh, I mean, look at that. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it does. I'm not saying it doesn't really. It's just like, what? Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. I want to see. I showed it from the side. Where Where was that? Oh, man. I don't know. There it is. Look at that. Even this close up, it looks like. How? That's so weird to me. How in the world? Even though it's this, I'm looking at this close up, I can still tell this looks like it's going uphill. That makes no sense. I mean, I'm not saying it really doesn't make sense, but it, to my eyes, it doesn't make sense. I want to go back and where is it? Where is the sign so I can read it? There it goes. The electric bray, known locally as Croy Bray. This runs the quarter mile from the bend overlooking Croy Railway Viaduct. Croy, hmm, maybe I need to, should I look that up, guys? That sounds interesting. In the west, 286 feet above ordnance datum to the wooded, Glen 303 to the east, while there is a slope of 186 upwards from the blend to the glen. Federation of the land on either side of the road provides an optical illusion, making it look as if the slope is going the other way. That's wild, man. That's wild. Hmm. Never heard of one of these gravity roads. I think that's what she called it, um, which makes sense. Um, but supposedly there's other versions of this same road in, in different areas. I don't know where, but... Um, anyway, guys, this is really interesting. I love these quirky little random videos, and um, this is the type of thing that I would probably never find on my own. So um, if you have anything like this, such as the other day I reacted to um, driving the steepest hill in England. You know, it's random, it's quirky, something I would probably never come across myself. Um, and then there I, I reacted to, yesterday I reacted to some people that were uh, you know, to some driving fails over uh, Rufford Ford, which was insanely hilarious. But these are just random, quirky, just videos that I would never think to find. I, I just probably would never come up with those ideas. Like I, I had no idea this exists uh, existed. So without you guys recommending things like this, I probably would never come across them. So I absolutely appreciate it when you share things like this. So if you have other things like this. Please feel free to share them, whether it's in the UK or Ireland, uh, no matter what it is. Um, you know, obviously, I cannot react to everything 
you know, as soon as it's shared. But I, you know, I um, when I see them in the comment section, I bookmark them and I try to come back to them at some point. And uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Till next time, guys. Peace.